encounters difficulties. There is no easy road. It does not exist. It is impossible. Every day. Everyone has Every issues. single day. If you day, have time to pursue I hobby, listen to uh, motivational videos. Some may think that's a little crazy, but it just keeps me in my in the zone. Let's go. Board. All right, guys. Today, we're doing career day. I'm going to be speaking about my career at Pine Chris Elementary, my former home. Okay, so hopefully they allow cameras and whatnot so you guys can see my little uh, speech. So it's exciting. I'm going to speak at career day. <laughs> Remember the class? I do remember Miss Molina. It was a long time ago. How old do you guys think I am? So that's me in fourth grade, where you guys are. So this is like what I looked like when I was in your seat. This third one, that's Miss Vega. That's Miss Vega when she was my fourth grade math teacher. Uh, that, that's what she looked like. I wanted to show you this. This is my yearbook picture. So if you like, if you look closely, you need a microscope, but I have like a little mustache here. And I didn't have a mustache here. So in one year, I got a mustache. So I'm a real estate agent. Now, before I get into what I do, I figured I'd tell you like, what is real estate? So that is a picture of your school. That's Pinecrest Elementary. Because Pinecrest, this, what we're in right now, is real estate. What do I do? And I put it in order of importance here. And the first one is find clients. I under like find because I have to find them. I can't, I have to go out and get them. They don't just come to me. I do a, a vlog. I created a vlog. I don't know if you guys watch YouTube and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I created a vlog. That's why I brought my cameraman back there. You guys can say hi to him. Hello. Because the more people that know me and see me, the more clients that I can possibly get. I also do open houses like I'm going to do today from one to three. I'm doing an open house. I go out, I meet people, I get my name out there, I build a, an image, a brand in the community so that people can reach out to me and sell their homes. Because without the clients, I can't sell homes. So I need clients. So that's the important thing of my job. Bell from 115. Oh, so turn here. Okay. Passion equals fun. You guys want to have fun, right? Yeah. You guys want to have fun. But when you guys are done with your schooling, you have to work the rest of your life. Would you rather work or would you rather have fun? Uh, right? So that's why you got to find something that you're passionate about. Okay, something that you really, really enjoy. And sometimes what you really enjoy means you're not going to make a lot of money. But that's fine. Because as long as you're happy, as long as you're passionate, and you're waking up every day having fun, that's the most important thing. And if you're doing something you're passionate about, the money will come. You're good at it, you're passionate about it, they will come. How do you become a great real estate agent? I have been like, great, because it's very easy to be a real estate agent. You need your high school degree, and then you can get your license right out of high school, that's it. 
I've had the pleasure and the honor of working and surrounding myself with the best of the best. So one thing that I've noticed from the best is that they all work very, very hard. All of them work very hard. Uh, they work the long hours, uh, till 9 p.m., they work in the weekends. Part of being a, a great real estate agent is working hard, but it's also being consistent, being persistent. They don't give up, they don't let, let up and hope. They're always hopeful for better things in the future. Um, and it's just staying positive. All right, boys and girls, what do we say? Thank you guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for having me. It was honestly a pleasure. It's great to, to come back to my old roots and, and see my old desk. So thank you guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I talk to Miss Vega a lot, okay? So if one of you misbehave, I'll, I'll know, I'll hear, and I don't wanna hear that. Another damn paradise, right? Um, I'd have to speak with the owner about it again. Gotta come alive, what you gon' do? Can't wait for it, gotta pray for it, gotta move Thank you so much, my friend. You too. All right, got Starbucks. I need to feel energized a little bit. Finished career day. Been up really early. Early in the morning. Now, I got an open house from one to three. Got my Starbucks. Now I'm gonna go put the signs. Get up, move with it, yeah, yeah, stay with it, yeah. Get up, get up, get up, move with it, stay with it. Stay, 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 stay with it. I just, I literally, I literally just paid a lot of money to get this fixed and Julio just dropped it. So it looks like I gotta get a camera now. He didn't like a picture I took of him, so he took the phone from me and then right here, he goes, what, what, bah! And that is tomorrow at four. I can't press cancel. Thanks, Julio. <laughs> ah! What happened tomorrow afternoon? Open house is done. Yeah, this is the same house actually that we did last week. Same house. Um, but in life, sometimes you really need to be persistent until you get things done. So you don't stop working until it's officially done. Okay? I forgot about that. We're confirmed. Tonight, Wednesday night, guys, that's Abuela's night. Abuela, we're doing the vlog. Say hi. Hi, mi amor. How are you? No, hi to the vlog, not to me. Hi, vlog. How are you? Vlog, vlog. But it's okay. I'll see you tonight. Yes, we're confirmed. Hello. Hi, Abuela. Are you sure you don't want to be in the vlog? No. Look, you're in it right now. About this issue I know it's an issue, but Abuela, they said it in the caption. They said, More Abuela, more Abuela. Wow, this is too Abuela, yeah. the food was delicious. I am so glad. Thank you so much. So, I just finished at Abuela's, done for the night. 
headed home to relax. But I did want to tell you a little bit why I decided to do career day. So one thing that I love to do is public speaking and that's something that I've always enjoyed and I really do want to be a motivational speaker eventually. So I was given the opportunity and I just said, why not? I just said, yes. I said, yeah, for sure, I'll do it. So took the opportunity, ended up doing it and uh, it was great, it was honestly great. I think uh, we should stop saying no to things, start saying yes. I did a post of that on Instagram and this is me doing that, just saying yes and going with it taking doing experiences and getting out of my comfort zone we need to stop being scared of being uncomfortable and embrace being uncomfortable be comfortable being uncomfortable because when you get out of your comfort zone and you try different things you never know what happens so that was uh my logic behind career day i just said do it why not what's the worst that's going to happen and it was truly a very enjoyable thing and a very humbling thing as well so thank you also to pinecrest elementary pinecrest staff for letting me be there it was awesome i loved it the kids are great uh and it's my home that is the vlog hope you enjoyed it see you guys in two weeks remember what i said last video just do it don't overthink things just do it so yeah jumped in the pool for you guys. I jumped in the pool for the vlog. So the least you can do is like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think. I'd love to hear it. You guys are awesome. I love you. Thank you for being here. And thanks to uh, like my 50 different cameramen. Yeah, man. That's wrong. Isn't that wrong? I don't know. That's messed up. That's some messed up stuff, yeah, right? Sure. Like, that's my vlog. I have a vlog, like a, like a, a YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna say hi to it? Hey! <laughs>